No, it wasn't Tom Patton. No, I thought it was somebody dressed as Sharky. But um, if you know that reference, good on you. But uh, I'm back, everybody. Uh, I don't since I don't know where or how I'm gonna work this in the video. Uh, for those who didn't see any intro, I'm the Reverend Godfather, I'm the host of the Frontman for Long Cup Mafia podcast. I'm recording now while the music is off. We're going to the events officially started. And we're going to walk into the deal room and show you guys and gals around. And again, hopefully we can do better than Clownfish TV with their event tours. So come on, let's do it. Let's turn this around and take you all on this special journey. Well, it's already a bigger room than uh, uh, what Martinsburg, even though Martinsburg has a bigger event than else and we all know this gentleman here from a lot of other events and that's the one the only the awesomeness himself Donnie Drum Howdy, folks. so how have you been doing I'm hanging in there I'm happy to be here and happy to keep making stuff good Over. to hear good to hear yep I mean I got orders on the side I got everything here and I'm also sponsoring Future Future Weekend once I find the flies and they will put on my table. And for the folks at home, that just in case this goes viral, where can they find your stuff? All right, I've actually uh, been in the process of rebranding my group. Look for that logo there, Grim Liberation Studio. That's my name on Facebook. That's uh, my Instagram tag. <laughs> And it should be a profile picture or cover picture on either of those forms of social media, that very low. Okay. And folks, we know that a lot of folks out there don't like the filming of the tables, but we're filming this so you could get the proper spelling and what the logo looks like. So you can find this fine gentleman and put it in. If you're a horror fan or need stuff for your cosplay, please feel free to contact this person and he could probably help you out. And next up is... These fine folks right next to the, I think, the Mandalorian, whoop, Mercs, maybe, kind of, sort of. <laughs> but we'll get to these fine gentlemen next. But Hello. Hello. And we know these mother, mother puckers, these fine gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? And if you don't know these guys, these are the fine people that put on this wonderful event that we covered this past late April, early May, and that's their website, so stay tuned for to that particular website so you know exactly what's going on, when, where, how, and why. Oh, we want to go. And folks, so this event still on, the August event. It's that is next year. Ne oh, next year, 2023. Yes. My bad. So... For, again, for more information, visit forstatecon.com for all the information that you need to know with guests and other stuff. So, and who didn't show? Who didn't show? Hub City Final. Because these people didn't show up. <laughs> and, yeah. There's this person. Who's though in probably Star Wars format, looking also looking like the Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> Got to go that route too. Um, who are you here representing? I am Runic. I am representing Runic Grace Productions. I'm a uh, cosplayer, graphic artist, printer, D and D dungeon master, all of that. Uh, we do video game streaming. We do a little bit of everything. Anything within the entertainment industry. Where can people find you? RudicRageProductions.com is our uh, main website. You can find oh. us at uh, RudicRage. I, I don't mean to interrupt you. Uh, just that somebody just shouted when you were saying your your yeah. particular location. So let me get a little bit closer. Runic Rage Productions here in Hagerstown is where we're based out of. Um, you can find us mostly on Facebook. Twi uh, we you can find us on Facebook, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. At Runic Rage or Runic Rage Productions, um, I'm still working on links and all of that as well. Um, there is going to be a link on the Facebook page and YouTube and Twitch to lead to our Discord channel as well. And folks, uh, I'll provide a link in the video because I just took one of their business cards, so that way this gentleman could be properly credited in the video. So I'll come back around and share the information oh, no with problem. you. So and we have this. Fine lady selling her wares. Hi. How you doing? Good. 
and this person here is, is from jewelry. selling jewelry, and, and this resident. is her business. So kaleidoscope craft work. So we're just going around doing things. Yeah. We'll come back around and get these people here, but we got to do this joke because of this fine gentleman here, Dan Noakes. Oh, hey, Dan, yeah. look, our impression of Cl Clownfish TV. Oh, we've been. I, I, I have a feeling at some point one or both of them are going to come back and just start like, "What are you talking about? We're not like that." Like, yes, you are. Oh, I've been ribbing uh, since our four state to uh, convention tour of the when we first did the dealer section. Yeah. I was like, I, I was like, oh, I'm punching up. I'm yeah. punching up. Yeah. I'm punching up so hard, and it's like I'm going to do like. An event such as this, I'll do vendor spotlights yeah. on the spot, but yeah. I did vendor spotlights the whole nine the years. The sad part is with Clownfish TV, I'm punching up too. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like... I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years. It's like, to see them, you know, I saw this fine mascot, <laughs> and I saw you and your infamous yeah. signs. Yeah, I, you know, I, I can't say like, this, I'll give them credit for this, they did better this year with me than, last, than the previous year. To see them... Uh, I met the gentleman several times, especially at this year's four state. They kind of, no offense, I'm just to, again, we're parroting Clownfish TV. Them just, yeah. hi, so and so. I'm like, yeah, it seems more about, the, again, it felt, it felt more like it was more about them than it was about vendors and artists and who was there and what was going yeah, on. Yeah, and they was like, we knew this piece, person so many years, and like, yet the whole thing was just, I'm like, the per you said the person has a panel. Talk to them, for stay there for at least 10 extra seconds to talk, you know, like find out what they're talking about. And it's like, but for you, since we're here, and enough they, ribbing about Clownfish TV. Yes, now what, let's, let's talk about Dan Noakes. Yeah, Dan Noakes, mm -hmm. that guy's been doing the funny books for the last 20 years. Yes. Uh, right now. What, uh, what have you been working on besides fighting the evil empire known as Amazon? Yeah, woo! That guy's still banned by Amazon. <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, right now I've got the new book out, Kevin. My very first prose novel, Very Ooh. Few Pictures. Where can they find that besides an event such as this? Uh, not Amazon. Not uh, Amazon. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's going to be at uh, www.21sandshark.com. Basically, if you're into stuff like uh, Our Flag Means Death, Life of Brian, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the forum, I think you might be into this. It's about the uh, last emperor of Western Rome and what you've been up to since the fall of civilization. Do you have like card or something so I could prop at least properly yeah. link? Uh, oh. <laughs> do -do -do. I'll have to screenshot it and um, that way I could put the link in the description and properly credit you guys so that way the few dozen <laughs> that might see it and might be interested uh, could click a link and find that stuff. Oh, the other so. big scoop says, I love you guys so much. You're my, fa my favorite podcast. And, uh... I don't know about that. We're the most annoying. Yes. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, I... Uh, I don't want to do this because I know how much that's a pet peeve of yours. So. Yeah, but I'm giving you permission. Okay. Uh, so. this, is, this is for the sequel. Let's start off with uh, the promo poster. A sequel called Chicken Battered and Fried. It's going to be about uh, that guy's sequel. It's uh, him in Florida, basically. Uh, this is him starting off in Florida, and here's some preview pages. It's basically, if you guys have kept up with chicken news, it's basically uh, the original Chicken 1.0 wind up getting lost, stolen, so I had to get his new replacement body uh, put together. And for those of you out there, if you stole the 1.0, yeah. shame on you. Yeah. Shame on you. Shame on you, Florida man. <laughs> uh, we know it was you. But uh, it's, either, it's either him or Clint Howard, I'm not sure which. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. would you, but would you rather Clint Howard take it or somebody else? Oh, I'd much rather have Clint Howard. 
a dramatic uh, uh, finale for this book of him battling Clint Howard in the, uh, the old Star Trek costume would be great. Um, but yeah, this is basically about how he wound up in uh, Florida and eventually makes his way back. I liken it to what if uh, John Waters had directed an episode of the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries, the one where they have the guest stars on, like Don Knotts and Don Adams yeah. and the Three Stooges. And a lot of the Florida folks will know that this is not this, this is not picking on Di him at, at all. Yeah. You all notice that the Florida fans and the, the college fans are not fighting each other in any of these panels. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Because you know that that is so Florida. It's like, but. But yeah, basically, uh, uh, it starts off in Richmond. Uh, he fights the Lee statue in, <laughs> for uh, a couple of panels. Then he gets uh, sort of abducted by uh, the cops and eventually winds up in uh, Florida after a little bit of a uh, psychedelic journey, triggered by uh, not having enough cigarettes and alcohol. And folks, the reason why I'm this far back is because I don't want to put too much detail on this book yes. and give out spoilers. And that way you're able to, when you see this fine gentleman, buy the current version when it comes out, number one. Yes. Number two, you get to see it for yourself. We have a uh, Kickstarter slated for February. I like to do uh, Kickstarters on my birthday because that seems to be the one time the algorithm, the one day of the year the algorithm works in my favor. So. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff is going to happen in the book. I'm hoping is at least, even if it's half as entertaining as USDA projected, I think it's going to be pretty amazing. And it's, I don't know how you want to do this. Um, sure. It's always a plan, pleasure of meeting you, Not, not a problem. Thank you so, so much. I said, I want, we both love punching up to the. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm going to ro roast them as much as we can. So. No, no. So I, 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 I don't wish them badly. Right. You know? But it's fun to point yeah. out what they're doing wrong. Yes. Yeah. So. Absolutely. <laughs> so let me catch up some other. Mine, so say it high. Let me catch some of the other creators around here, so I'll probably see you guys Thank around. Thank you so much, yeah. Some of the other, I don't want to, you know, get too close to some of these creators because this is their artwork. And like Dan has stated, why go to somebody's like, oh, your stuff is so nice. <laughs> he understands. And then we've seen this fine gentleman before at Four State Comic Con. How are you doing? So, take care. And anyway, what's your name? My name is Tom Bonds. I'm an illustrator, comic book artist, character designer. I've been working in freelance for well over 10 years now. This work is almost as old as that, I just realized. Um, and he has... stuff is this way, older stuff is that way. And he has a lot of amazing uh, group. I'm, I'm going to just show one um, one of his great stuff that I, I wish I had cash to get, and that's this MWA poster. <laughs> because it looks so cool. So... There's a story behind that one. Oh, if you want to tell, feel free to tell. Okay, so MW, there's a trend in video games that's called Mascots with Attitude, which started with Sonic the Hedgehog, and there were many, many other platform mascot game characters that followed in his wake. You think of characters like Jersey Devil or uh, Ark the Bat and a few other characters, so I decided to compile some of the more popular ones that I knew and turn them into a parody of MWA. Yeah, yeah. Got mascots with Attitude. So I'm going to take your card that way. Uh, oh, I'm sit down. I'll put on my glasses and I'll tag you in this. Uh, I always put links to where the people could find you. Yes. Uh, if they are out of the area, they are able to at least try to find what you have to offer and hopefully, I don't know guarantees, but. Any and all exposure is welcome. Thank you. And some of you folks might remember this fine gentleman from Four States. You behaving kind, sir? Yeah, I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. <laughs> but how have you been doing? Good, good. Um, anything new? Anything new? Uh, so far, I think. Evil Reclamation. This is a new comic book out. Uh, it takes place in the metaverse. And uh, my main character, this sentient robot, has to go into the metaverse to fight the cybernetic dog. And this time, I'm taking a card. Because I don't remember taking a card last time. I, my stuff has a tendency of disappearing. <laughs> so, um, though I might not enjoy putting up somebody's Instagram, can I put up your Instagram handle as a tag? So, 
I just don't want to do it without permission because of, you know, private, potentially private stuff. So that's why I'm asking. So, Chris, what have you been working on? What's new? What's new? Uh, other than me getting kicked out of my job, but that's beside the point. Uh, I get to do stuff like this and see you guys again. All right. So. All right. I'll to see you, man. Yep. I'll come back around. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> one room. We got one, one room. room. As always, there's always a wide variety of stuff at these smaller events. Hello. You always find pops and these fine gentlemen and people. And you always have to run into assholes like this. <laughs> so, going all right? To our comics, some stickers. We have stickers. They're free. Take some stickers. Fun. Fine. There's always, if I could pull it. I made it a ripcord, but I can't get. <laughs> I put it on my backpack. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'll take a sticker if you take one of my freebies. Sure. Oh, dice. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. You guys want? There's more than one color in there. And those, that promotional bag stuff in there has been banned from Otacon. Why? Uh, solicitation. How? Because you're giving out free stuff? Because the business card is in there. That's so dumb. I don't understand that. They, they claim that if someone accepts that with the card on it, I am forcing them to listen to the show. 100,000% not true because I can't tell you how many business cards I have for things that I haven't checked out yet because I'm bad at it. And it's not mostly Otacon's per, uh, policy. It's the policy they adopted from the convention center. Oh. Well, well maybe ours is kind of a, like a loophole because we don't technically have business cards. They're just stickers. So, and if I went this year, I would have done the same thing and actually challenged them. Uh, and like, okay then you have to get rid of everybody in the uh, show floor that's giving away uh, business cards. Right. And if they asked why, I was simply said, because if someone doesn't have the funds for it right now, it might take up the card for probably future reference. Yeah. In essence, you're, with your words of saying, they are forced to buy something at some point. Right. Especially you can't have any convention. Um, for example, for state, yeah. you can't have any other convention promos there because if they, somebody picks up a, a flyer off that table by your own admission, that person is now forced to go there. You know, by that, by their logic. But how does that? How do they come to that conclusion? Though? Like, no, it's that? just it's like, well, you. And the thing is, they didn't send someone, one of the higher ups, didn't come to me. Yeah. It was one of their minions, uh, and it was because I. In their group post, posted up a selfie like this saying, hey, I have a bunch of, you know, dice for ever, who, whomever wants one. Yeah. And because somebody saw it, oh, you're soliciting. And there were people, there were business cards for other podcasters there. Yeah. And there were business uh, flyers, you know, like the postcard flyers yeah. for people buying and selling Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards outside the dealer room. I feel like exchanging like business cards and stuff like that is part of the reason, especially if you have a podcast and stuff like that. You and, other podcasts. and the like thing is, man. Like how else do you and the thing is, people were posting in the group, Facebook group. Hey, find me, and if you ask a trivia, answer a trivia question, we'll give you a piece of candy. Well, isn't that the same thing? You're just bugging me this. And it's like this year, it's like wait a minute, you had people in group selling. Oh, we will step on you for five dollars, and people taking them up on it. Huh. Okay. I'm like, well, they, the, were those people stopped? Right. And if not, I'm doing this. Like, if I go back again, I'm taking the whole South Park mentality. Go on, cancel me. Go on, tell me I can't. My hotel room is paid for. <laughs> Just go in dressed up like uh, Trey and Matt did when they were on, what were they on like ecstasy or something. Yeah, they, they show like up that. like in drag. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was so good. Oh. Oh. 
Sasha, I have an idea. <laughs> You're not going to like it, Sasha, but it's going to be funny. Come on, we go. <laughs> oh, she... I was like, oh, I gotta do it. It's like, you're not gonna like it, but. <laughs> oh, she was like, I, I wanna do it for the lows. I wanna be a troll. She'll yell, she'll yell at me and, like, yeah, you'll yell at me, fine. <laughs> Fair enough, but you'll get it. Well, I'll see you around. Take care. Yeah, man. It's good to see you. Take a. Yeah. As promised, take a sticker. Yeah, go for it. Put it in this pocket. So. See you guys around. See Take you care. Around, uh, I know you're promoting your own character. Uh, when I first started, I was like, wait a minute, Sharky? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're not. Are you familiar with that character, Sharky? I know the name. I so, can't picture it. A TikTok person that has a character named Sharky. Oh, so, wow. Oh, I'm actually a dragon. So dra I, 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 when I first saw, I went Sharky. I know. <laughs> so. my, my mascot's a blue dragon. I do children's books and. Um, uh, so tell me about your children. Okay, yeah. So I'm an author from Southern Pennsylvania. So I travel down here today. Um, I write and illustrate my own children's books from scratch. I do not publish through any larger company. I get them all printed myself. And if any like, I work through with uh, Amazon printing and Ingram Spark printing. And um, basically, if any other store wants to purchase my book or display them, they can through Ingram Spark. And I try to visit local events like this and set up and just being an independent author. It's just a little side gig I have. And I, I thank you for speaking with us. And I'll come back around and I'll hand out cards and all that fun, sure. fun like jazz. Like shirt, by the way. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and also at this fun event is this lovely lady. It's been a while. How have you been doing? doing all right. How was your forest date? It was good. Have fun? Oh, yeah. Be annoying? Yeah. I doubt that. <laughs> You're too innocent. <laughs> My sister would disagree if she was here. You're what? My sister would disagree if she was here. Oh. She's not here so we can't verify this information. <laughs> so you take care. You have fun today. Well, we gotta have it. So, we'll let these folks be and hand out our connections. But then again, the cap has to join us and grace us with his presence. But for that, for the, mo for the most part, folks, that's the end of the tour. We might attach the intro video with this, but still, take care. See you next video.